It's very important to feel what you're singing about. I was really thrilled with the last record. It was kind of autobiographical and uh, very much about where I come from. And it came out and it started doing really well. It really kind of put me on the map in the US. I'm always on the lookout for songs. I'm always listening to songs. And it doesn't matter what genre, I could be just listening to pop radio and something clicks with me. Because I don't write my own material at this point, I'm always researching stuff, you know. So um, I would say even as we were releasing Make Someone Happy, I was already thinking about the next project. I'm very song driven, not necessarily concept driven. So I want to record the songs that make me feel a certain way or connect with me emotionally. Take Love Easy. I found that throughout that record, yes, it's about love, but it's also about where I want to be in the future, where it's, it's a lighter record, it's a more upbeat record than anything I've ever done. And it's at once more jazzy and more versatile and more textured. And I think it might as well be called Take Life Easy. I'm such a serious person. I've, I've always been this studious, nerdy, kind of dramatic, intense, and everything's always been very, very serious with me. So Take Love Easy is such a cute, playful tune. It's kind of the next evolution of my music and hopefully my life. I mean, I have some wonderful things happening to me personally, and uh, just wanted to communicate that kind of love and joy through my music. I Can't Make You Love Me is another favorite of mine on the record. It's um, made famous by Bonnie Raitt, who I love. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous ballad and so, so sad. And in some ways it's, it's a departure from, I guess, the theme of the record, but it's, it's in line with the whole theme of, you know, the complexity of love and life in general. No need to discuss much about the I've been a fan of Paul Simons for a long time and uh, found myself sitting in a coffee shop listening to some records and I came across a song like Paul Simons 50 Ways and you don't know what's going to come out of it. You know, it can, it can come out waltzy, it can come out Cuban, it can come out Brazilian. And um, I've been really, really blessed in working with the kind of people that I've had the chance to work with. Very creative and together we just come up with these crazy kooky arrangements. So I just, I can't wait for it to come out and hit people over the head, you know? I'm, I'm very excited about that record.